what does it take to build a website in Nigeria? As you are aware, the best way to put your business online and give it a unique identity is through a website, which is the only place where you have total control. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Imara here. I'm excited as always to have you back on the channel. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing so that you don't miss any of our videos, which we release almost every day. What does it cost to build a website in Nigeria? Let's find out in this video. Number one is that you need a domain. A domain in Nigeria goes between 1,000 to about 50,000, depending on the extension or the top level domain you have chosen, ranging from .com to .org to .net, depending on what you are building and the extension you have chosen. Number two is hosting. Of course, your website needs to find a space online. There need to be a home for your website, for your content. All those videos, um, pictures and text are going to be uploaded on your website. You need to see somewhere. And the hosting in Nigeria goes for between 12,000 to over 100,000 per year to host a website. So depending on the complexity of the website you are hosting and the kind of storage you need, you may need from between 12,000 a year, that's 1,000 every month, to over 100,000 if it's an e-commerce website, a large website that requires that you have to upload a large amount of content. All right, the third one is that you need a designer, a web designer or a developer who will be able to help you put the website together. You are going to pay the person and it ranges from between 50,000 to over 500,000 depending on how complex or what exactly you are building. All right, so if it's a simple website, maybe a one-page website, maybe 50,000 can get it done, depending on the web designer or developer. But it can range from between 50,000 to about 500,000 and over. It can even be up to millions, depending on how complex that website you are building is. The fourth one is content. If you're going to build a website, there must be content. So you must make plan of content. The content you're going to put on the website, the text, the images, the videos, and all those things you're going to put to make the website, you know, communicate the kind of message you want to share with your audience. And this content can come from you. So if you have your content, it makes it easier. But if you don't have any content, there are web developers or designers who can actually help you come up with content to help you build your website. In fact, that's one of the things we do for our customers. We help them build a website and even if you don't have content at all, we can help you come up with content. And if you check the description, you're going to see uh, a link to where you can, you know, get to work. Or even you can drop a message in the comment section to say, I need a website and I want you to, you know, help me out. Finally, number five is the website needs to be updated and maintained. Most times people build websites, small business owners, they build websites and that's the end of the show. They don't know that this website needs to be updated and maintained. That is where um, a, an agency or an individual comes in. Maybe your web developer or your web designer have to be the one updating and maintaining the website because apart from updating the software and maintaining the website and ensure that it's up, you also need to upload content. Sometimes you need to change something on the website. You need to edit, remove or put something. Somebody has to be in charge of that. Either you are doing it in-house in your business or your agency or your freelancer or your whoever you have hired is the one doing it for you and you have to pay for that. So that can also, you know, attract some costs and it ranges from agency to agency. I can't really, you know, but of course, uh, if you're going to be paying somebody to manage your website in a whole year, maybe from 20,000 upwards per year, depending on how complex, to even over millions, depending on how complex and what you are putting in the website. So guys, these are what the cost of building a website in Nigeria. So if you take into consideration everything I've said, you should be able to come up with a reasonable cost of what it actually costs to get a website up online. One thing we do is that we support small businesses. We help them get online, we help them build simple websites that will communicate their unique message to the whole world. So if you are interested in building a website, what do you do? Just hit the comment section and let us know what you need. We'll find a way around it and give you something at your own cost, of course. 
it's affordable. You can, you know, go around your own unique, peculiar situation to give you something that you can actually afford. All right, so that's where we end the video for today. If you have gotten value from the video, remember to always like and share the video. And if you're here to subscribe, what are you waiting for? Just click on the subscribe button and remember to always come back for more. So thank you so much for those who have been coming back for more videos. I love you and I will see you again in another interesting video.